Many people have been led to believe that, although the Bible is full of interesting stories, its history is mythological and made up, with no archaeological support. This series is dedicated to those who need help dislodging that dubious claim. Thus far in our series, we have seen confirmation of the biblical characters Hazael of Aram, tiglath pileser Sargon II, Sennacherib, Jehu, Hezekiah, King David, King Omri, and the list goes on and on. And at this point, I'd like to show you a few other people. Two seals have been discovered that attest to Baalis, king of Ammon, the one mentioned in Jeremiah 40. Also, Esar Hedon, the one mentioned in 2 Kings chapter 19, is also well known in Assyrian sources. Merodach Baladan II, or Marduk, a Babylonian ruler mentioned in 2 Kings chapter 20, is also well known in Assyrian records. And he is mentioned in the Old Testament as interacting with Hezekiah. He actually sends Hezekiah a gift, and they had a lot in common. They, well, they at least just both hated Assyria. In 1935 in Lachish, there was a seal discovered for Gedaliah. You can find him in 2 Kings chapter 25. Um, the seal of Gedaliah, son of Pashur, um, belongs to a man in the Old Testament described as the guy Nebuchadnezzar appointed to be over the people um, that he had left behind in Judah. We've also seen Ahaz before, and uh, appearing with a fuller name Jehoahaz, uh, he is found extensively in the records of Tiglath-Pileser III. Hezekiah, we've seen him before. Um, he's also mentioned in the records of Sennacherib. And recently there have been uh, Bula discovered, um, mentioning him by name, saying, Belonging to Hezekiah, son of Ahaz, king of Judah. We also see a royal seal found belonging to Manasseh, son of the king. A seal has also been discovered that belonged to Gemariah, one of Jeremiah's scribes. The whole point of bringing this up is that the Bible's attempt at recalling history and historical people is obviously not just a bunch of made-up fiction. And it's important to bring that up because it is a surprisingly widespread belief that the Bible is a historically false document written well after the events by people who are making up history. That claim doesn't hold very much water because when the Bible makes reference to biblical characters, kings and rulers in and outside of Israel in the far distant past, even to them, they get it right. So it seems that it is at the very least based on historical reality. So far at this point, we have focused most of our attention on figures from the periods of the united and divided monarchy. Stay tuned next time, and we will switch gears to go further back into the time of the patriarchs. I hope this was interesting and encouraging to you. But remember, the question is not, can we prove everything in the Bible? The question rather should be, where there is archaeological evidence, does it in fact support biblical witness or not? Thank you for watching.